Hey guys, Tony the Soy Sass Assassin. Welcome to another episode of Cigar Review. You know, the usual shit. <laughs> so today we have this Buffalo Chase, Buffalo Trace. Uh, I always say Buffalo Chase, I don't know why. Buffalo Tr Buffalo Trace uh, cigar. And obviously this is not something I would be impressed about, I guess. It's made by General Cigar Company in the Dominican Republic. And I think it was actually made by CI. So I am not impressed by that combination of things, right? But I got it just because it came with an ashtray and I wanted the ashtray and if you buy a box, you get the ashtray. So rather than buying the ashtray, I bought a box of cigar. A little bit of information on this, blah, 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 blah. And the cigar, I believe I bought a Robusto size. Yep, Robusto size. And Robusto size is 5 by 49. It's a weird ass size. 5 by 49. It's seven and seven dollar and fifty cents per cigar. Um as MSRP. Um and the blend. Let's see if I can find the blend here. Ecuadorian Sumatra wrapper over a Brazilian Arapiaca Arapiraca. Binder, Dominican, Piotto, Cubano, and Nicaraguan filler. Okay, so there you go. That's the basic information about this cigar, which there's only three combinations here. Okay, three outcome that this cigar could be. Number one, cigar is good, but they need a gimmick to help sell it. So they put Buffalo Trace as that gimmick. Or number two, the cigar was carefully curated to be enjoyed with a bottle of Buffalo Trace. Possible three, the cigar is absolutely shit, but they need something to help sell it. There's only three tumbles. There's not any other way around it. Which tells you, we had to smoke to find out. Damn it. But yeah, I do have a good drink. You know, I always talk about this. Like when you got to smoke a cigar that you might not think is good, at least have a good drink because, uh, you know, in the end, at least you have a good drink. So. Uh, uh, feel manly. All right, trash. Go in the trash. Go, go in there, go in there. Go in there. Uh, well, number one, it's pretty cool. They have that sticker over there, which is like that sticker. Okay, so somebody ripped this apart, but this was a whole piece. <laughs> and let's see how I'm going to open this. I think it's a oh, it's top lid, right? Yep, it's a top lid. So that means I got to cut this. All right, knife. Knife. Our knife hole. Here we go. Yes, I work my knife way better than Rick. I think. At least I don't use kitchen knife. We use kitchen knife. Anyways. Ta-da! That looks good. But I think they fuck up the, open, the, the outside. Right? That looks like they double duped it, whatever, however, that looks weird. Anyway, the inside looks way better. I don't know if anybody had a picture of that outside that I can compare it to because it does look like they screwed up on the outside. 
It really does. It really, really does. Let me see. Anybody have the cap closed? Come on. A picture of the cap closed. Oh, there it is. Uh, yep, they fuck it up. <laughs> yeah, I got a box of the fucked up printing. There you go. Anyways, let's take a cigar out. Get a good close look. Compared to... No, it doesn't even close all the way. What the hell? Yep, it doesn't close all the way anymore. Yay! And you think I'm joking? Hey, how you doing? I am the box that cannot close. Yeah! Yep, it will not close all the way now. Alright. Eat that way. I don't have much expectation for it anyway. <clears throat> Here comes a cigar. Okay. It's super rough. It looked super crappy. I'm not even kidding. Like, look at this cap and rolling job. This is like... I don't know. Like, you just look for this. Look this for yourself. This is the quality. This, look like this. Look at this. Look, look, oh my god. That looks like somebody just went to my backyard, took a leaf and rolled it. But, you know. They do have the thing going. Right? They do have the thing going. Uh, I don't know if the green is the same. Even the, no, the green is not even the same green. So, whatever. All right. Let's get a drink first. Because I am really not looking forward to this now. Nice. Nice. Cheers. Ah. Uh, ooh. Nice. All right, so let's get to this cigar now. It smells like a, a leafy cedar drawer. Let's open the bin. Oh my God. Yeah. Cut and light. Oh my god, I'm not, no. I shouldn't be so pessimistic, but this thing is making me pessimistic. All right, here we go, cut. Draw is okay. Smokeable. Cold draw, leather. And that was it, really just leather. Yep, all I get is leather. <clears throat> Light it up. Why is my fire really like low today? Maybe I should turn it higher. Like today, you're low today, bro. You're low today, bro. Wow. Why? Right, this pepper, but when I was puffing it while I'm letting it up, it tastes like cigarette. The cedar, oh, it's a really spicy pepper. Holy crap. It burns. It's like chili pepper. It really burns. It burns my tongue, not even my nose. Light cedar and some some weird wood wood tone and then just chili pepper. Well Yeah, it's a lot of pepper and some sort of wood tone. And it's definitely not a barrel wood. It's just a weird wood tone. Let me carry the side a little bit more.
Mm, a little bit leathery tone. Yeah, leather and wood pepper. That's all I got right now. So yeah, uh, let me smoke this a little bit. And we'll see where that goes. And then we'll also test it with a sit of that and a smoke that. And then we'll also tap, test it with a dip. And see where that goes. Because right now, I'm not, mm, not impressed by it. But it's like seven bucks. So it's not like, eh. What kind of my back for it? Let's see. This thing needs you. This thing could be just a collector's item. Just leave it there. Never smoke it thing. But we'll, we'll come back to see it. Be right back. We are one third of the way in. The ash looks okay. I'm, you know, it's not too crazy. I did try to take a sip of this, then took a smoke. Uh, it actually tastes pretty good. I actually mellow out the weird taste and then you just get this woodsy, ni nice woodsy floral. I don't know. It, you need the Buffalo Trace's um, flavoring on the cigar to taste good, I guess. It, 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 you know, I'm going to try again. Yeah, you have to. Without it, it's just a normal cigar. And, and it's like a really weird, oversaturated leatheriness and pepper. But once you have the, the, the drink, you get that barrel, nice aroma. It gets a little bit floral. It gets a little bit toffee. Uh, it, it's just that it's more balanced. It has a little bit of sweetness to it now. So you kind of need a drink to go with the cigar. The cigar itself is not even what to talk about. <laughs> but with the drink, it's actually pretty good. The, the cigar itself, I think, is like a medium, medium plus uh, in terms of strength. The flavor is boring. But it seems like the flavor with, this, with the drink, it improved the experience. A lot. A lot. So... Now the question is, is this a horrible cigar that happened to be good with the with the drink? Or is that the cigar was specially blended so that it would taste good with the drink? Now that's the question. I, I'm not too sure. I'm not too sure because people just gotta smoke that cigar without the drink sometimes, right? So which one is it is the question you know I, I i really have to figure that out but we still haven't got there yet um i prob i don't want to dip it yet because once i dip it the whole entire cigar is going to have that flavor then it kills the point so i want to smoke at least until the halfway before i start dipping it so let me smoke a little bit more let's get to the half point get the bend off and then we'll look at the bend and then we can try to dip it to see if that is how it's supposed to i, I doubt that's the case but we'll, we'll go with that. We'll go with that. So I'll be right back after um, I smoke another 15 minutes or so. Be right back. So halfway down, we took off the first band. Just Buffalo Chase. The same, like, you know, fun and everything as a bottle, I think. Yep. So nothing special. It's a really thin paper. It's really hard to rip off. So now is the time where we try to dip it a little bit and smoke it. It's more balanced, but it's not good. It's still better if I just take a puff, take a drink, take a puff again. Um, but it adds a little bit more floral and sweetness to it. But that's pretty much it. I don't know. And now cigar just gets wet and it's hard to, hard to take a draw now. So... <clears throat> two thirds of the way through. I feel like I'm leaning more towards that 
they like the drink and they tried to use whatever tobacco they have left over and made it so that it gives some flavor that will complement the drink but not the other way around so the cigar itself is pretty crappy but with the drink that may enhance everything else but I think that's kind of like an afterthought rather than let's make a cigar as good on its own but perfect with Buffalo Chase. Buffalo Trace. Buffalo Trace. 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 So. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know if it's worth that median plus strength on this cigar to do that and have to enjoy the drink. I'd rather just enjoy the drink than any other cigars. It's a tough one. It's a tough one. I sm finished smoking this and you know I'll continue to finish my drink and I'll come back after I finish the laster and we can take a look at the band again, the top band, and summary. Be right back. Alright, finished up. So let's go. The band, like I say, looked just like the drink. Which is funny because the drinks has like looks like it's ripped, but this band. It's more complete. I don't know, in a way. So. They did put it together. It looks nice. But the cigar. More strength than flavor. And if you don't have the drink. More strength than anything. <laughs> okay. This is nothing. Particular. I, I wouldn't be. I would not be smoking a cigar ever. After this. Without a drink. Because without a drink. It just gets strength. And you got nothing. Right. With the drink. Uh, enjoyable, but I feel like I can enjoy the same cigar the same way if I have this drink with any other cigar, pretty much, right? So I, I don't see a significant of this other than the brand. Yeah, I, I cannot see any good significance on this particular cigar other than collector value um, and because you like Buffalo Trace. Trend, Trace, Trend, 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 Trends. Trends, tre there's no end, chase. So, um, 750, all right. It tastes about that, if anything. I, I will say this is just a budget cigar with a band on it. So, without the band, it would be like a $5 cigar. With the band, it would be 750. Okay, fine. Got to, you know, Buffalo needs to earn a little bit of money too. So, I understand that, but other than that, I, I don't enjoy the cigar uh, all that much. It's, um, very normal, very boring one-dimensional cigar that happened to complement the maybe the one dimension that the regular drink has missing. But other than that, I feel like any cigar could have done the same thing, if not better. If not better. So yeah, 750. If you want to collect it, sure. Not collecting it at all, you don't care. I say skip it. There's another cigar that I'll say skip it. Save that money for a couple more bottles of this. You'll probably be more happy, to be honest with you. Okay, so yeah, that's it for the cigar review. I uh, hope you guys find this informative and that you will end up buying the bottle and not the cigar. <laughs> and you're welcome. <laughs> I, took the I took the beating for you. This wasn't that good. So yeah, unfortunately, there's another cigar that's a flop. And we'll just... Hope for a better cigar review next one if you like it like comment share um subscribe and i'll see you guys in the next one bye guys